Our top story tonight at 6, it's National Mental Health Awareness Month and local organizations are finding ways to bring free mental health services to seven Macon neighborhoods. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller tells us how Macon Head Space is doing just that. The Mental Health Matters initiative is kicking off Saturday with the Mental Health Pop-Up Gym. Organizers say the Mental Health Pop-Up Gyms are a way to introduce mental health to disadvantaged areas. Nancy Cleveland is the executive director and founder of Macon Headspace. She says the mental health pop-up gym happening Saturday at Fillmore Thomas Park is meant to promote free mental health services coming to the recreation centers. The event starts at 8 a.m. and goes until 4 p.m. It will include chances to interview therapists, yoga, meditation, poetry, and more. Making Headspace is here to help you make Headspace in whatever way you see fit, whether it be therapy, aromatherapy, yoga, meditation, drumming, even just sitting in silence. I'm not sure what it is, but we're here to teach you about those techniques so you can take it home and create your own formula. Cleveland says she lived in the foster care system from two months old until she was three years old because her mom struggled with drug and alcohol addiction. When Cleveland moved back to Macon, she was able to get adult legal guardianship of her mom. Cleveland says that has helped keep her mother clean for three years. By creating Macon Headspace and programs like the pop-up, she hopes to help people like her mom. I'm hoping programs like this will kind of give me a, a healing and make me move from just being a victim to an advocate and also just make it easier for people who are going through something to find the resources that they need. CEO and therapist at the Southern Center for Choice Theory, Gloria Cisse says it's important to bring free mental health services into neighborhoods that don't have access to them. She says community violence, poverty, and discrimination contribute to mental illness. Having people who are in neighborhoods that may where they, they may not have access to resources, learn, have ex, actual ac, access to these kind of activities, really increases their the likelihood that they will accept them and participate in them. Macon Mental Health Matters will target seven areas that have higher crime and lower income and lower insured adults. There will be things like parenting classes and therapy. CSA says access to free services like that are needed. And we'll be running those services, well, the, the plan is at least for the next year and hopefully beyond. So people will have access to no cost, truly no cost mental health services. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. And more mental health pop-up gyms will open in the future as well as access to free services at local community centers. To register for the event this Saturday, go to MakingMentalHealthMatters.com.